I'd like to introduce you to John Sewell, who's the owner of uh, Sand Springs. Uh, if you'd like to go ahead, John. Yeah, hi, Ben. Yeah, I'm the um, present owner of Sand Springs. Uh, my son, Timothy, uh, runs the farm now, and he's the sixth generation. And uh, we started here in uh, 1854, and there's been seven generations counting my grandson at Sand Springs. So, John, could you tell us a bit about uh, your family, how they got started from uh, Beverly and down in those areas? Yes, Ben, we, um, we were farmers in Essex in England, and the two sons came out in 1832 by boat to Western Australia, and they farmed around Beverly, Pingley, York, Northam, till they separated and John John stayed at uh, Pingley where there's still some sewells there now and George the first one that came up here in 1854 he um, had shepherds here on the, f the station then as it was called Sand Springs till 1865 when he brought his family up they all shifted up and the next generation Caleb was 15 he was riding his pony so then they uh, they were very much sheep and grain and cattle very much mixed farming you also had an orchard and um... so in all that time John how did your family get through the tough times like it would have gone through depression they would have gone through high interest rates and other uh, hardships that they would have had to cope with. How did they do it? Yes, Ben, you sort of had to do everything yourself, of course, and they even built their own houses. The first house was built in uh, the 18, 1854, and that's that's long gone. That was a mud brick house. But the present Sand Springs house is still there. That was built in 1880 by um, Caleb who they they were quite good builders they built houses down at Chittering and they built a church at Katrine near Northam um, so they built the second house up here and the present house in eight, which is not occupied now but still standing um, in 1880 to 1890 it took about 10 years with the help of Chinese labour so it was very much a case of doing everything yourself and they were very much mixed farmers and the way they got through the 1890s which was a very bad period because all the wheat crops had rust and I think all the prices were very low and a lot of the local big places couldn't change their lifestyle and uh, the banks foreclosed on them but Sand Springs kept going because we were very diversified and we did anything to uh, make a quid virtually but the mainstay was the huge orchard we had because there's always been plenty of water here that's why they settled this place initially because the water was only a couple of metres down and there was plentiful water and they had a huge orchard which had pears and apricots and oranges um, they just just grew everything apples under the sun and I was reading the old diaries one day and one, one day they picked 500 cases of apples and sent them up to Mount Magnet they'd take them by horse over to Northern Gully and put them on the train and that was that was a lot of apples to pick so it was a, it was a huge industry and that's that was the mainstay of the farm was the orchard but we also made butter and grew vegetables did everything under the sun to survive and